Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just in a domestic dwelling at the moment because I was called out to no heating slash no hot water. So when I came here and looked at this um, Worcester, so Worcester Green Star 25 SI. So basically um, there was low pressure. When I turned the boiler on, I, I saw down here that the pressure was on zero bar. So initially I imagined that it was a pressure problem. So as you come up to here, you know on these units that you have the expansion vessel up here. And if we look on this side, we have the shredder valve. Here's the shredder valve. And I attached my um, Reagan, Reagan um, pump to check the pressure and it was zero bar. So I started pumping it up. It wasn't penetrated. No water came out when I pressed the shredder valve at the top. So I started pumping up, dropped the pressure out of the system, pumped it up to one bar or slightly over one bar because you know when you take the, the gauge off, it um, drops the pressure slightly. So I, I pumped up the system to one bar. Um, and then as well, you know, the PRV, pressure relief valve here, that goes out. I went to check the pressure relief valve to see if it was leaking when the boiler was back on and it wasn't dripping at all. So once turn, turning the boiler on, I topped it up to one bar, it was all about one and a half bar. And then I was still getting problems. I was getting a bit of kettling noise and so on. And the customer was complaining about the boiler sort of making the kettling noise. So what I did is I saw that the, P, the, the um, automatic air vent here, the gray one, looked like it needed opening up. It was closed probably because it was um, letting by in the pass. That had some air in it. Then I came up here and checked. I checked on here. I opened up, as you know you can. I attached my hose on and then I let the water out of the system um, to let some air out as well and let that out into the sink. So basically now um, I let the boiler run for a while and there's not been any any issues. The boiler's been running fine um, but the, the customer was saying that they were going to change the PRV, um, the, the previous engineer. The PRV is quite awkward to change on these boilers and you need to sometimes remove the boiler off the wall to change the PRV or sometimes you need to remove the flue if there's no space to remove the expansion vessel you just slide it out over the top or take the boiler off the wall. Okay I'm just carrying out some tightness testing on the boiler. So the tightness test here and I have um, good a good tightness test pressure result not losing any pressure so I'm going to just turn the system back on right now. And in doing so, I'm going to check the working pressure of the appliance and do some combustion checks as well. Okay. So we've got our fan running. It's going to suck the air in through the venturi and do a pre pre gas mix. And then here's our heat exchanger and our burner going in on top and then as you know um, well what happened is it was getting very hot but that's because it needed venting up here and venting down below and then up here is our test point for our combustion 